Hi y'all, so I posted a picture of my workspace on a few Facebook forums for telepractice and a lot of you asked some questions so I hope that this video is helpful um, in trying to set up how to get two monitors to a 2019 MacBook Air, okay? Um, some of the questions that I got were, well, why do you need that many screens? What's the purpose? I'm gonna show you in this video, but I think it's important to give a little bit of background on myself. I am a pediatric home health CF SLP. I just graduated in April, but I have been doing home health for three years. Um, this is my first time taking on teletherapy. Um, I am loving it. And this is to make the work environment for myself since we are in 2020 in a pandemic and working from home. Just a whole lot more, I guess, comfy and more welcoming. Um, you know, we're in a different time right now, and I think that this is necessary. Some people will think this is excessive, but it, I just think it's awesome, and it's been so helpful in report writing and getting through my Zoom calls. So I'll go ahead and tell you everything that I have. Um, so I have two Dell refurbished monitors. My brother works for Dell, so he helped me get those. And I have my MacBook Air. It is a 2019. So when you have that the uh, the Air and it's a 2019, I know I do have another MacBook and it has different ports. So this is the purpose of this thing right here. You have the two USB-C ports here. And this is called, on Amazon, it's called the MacBook Pro Dock Station. The purpose of this is to go ahead and hook up your HDMI cords that you will need. Um, they hook up to the monitors and then they hook up to this, which is hooked up to this. So I got two HDMI cords from Target. They are four feet long. I just want to show you them right there. They were long enough to reach. I didn't want to get longer cords because I'm not a fan of cords. Who is, right? All right. The other things that are hooked up to this, my cord for my MacBook. So since you're taking up the USB-C port here, you need to hook up the cord here for the power. And then here, I ended up getting another webcam um, because the webcam I was using was on my MacBook and I'm gonna be facing this monitor. So I went ahead and got a webcam and I tried it already and the MacBook recognized that I had the webcam connected. So that was great. All right, so from there, whenever you hook up your monitors, so you go into your settings, let me see, where is it? You go into settings and excuse me if I'm a little shaky, it is a little hard to record and do this simultaneously. So you go to your settings, okay? You go to displays. When you hook up your monitors, this tab is gonna pop up because it's recognizing that there are two other devices hooked up to your MacBook. So go to arrangement and you have these two screens. It's recognizing that there are two monitors. And then on your monitors are these things that are gonna pop up for the color, okay? So here you set up how they are. I don't wanna move them too much because it gets, it's, um, it gets um, out of whack when I try to mess with it, but just to click on it real quick, you see how it turns red? Hopefully I don't shift it too much. It turned red over there. So it's showing that that monitor is placed with this one. And the reason is for that because you're gonna be able to move um, like windows and tabs, screen to screen to screen. So that's called like toggling. So when you're on one screen, you know, you are opening multi a multitude of windows and they're just layered on top of each other. So that's the whole purpose of this, just to have everything spread out, okay? So I'm gonna X out of here, and I'll show you how to go ahead and toggle between it. And you know what, before I get ahead of myself, I'm gonna show you that I have a Bluetooth keyboard and I have a Bluetooth mouse. Those are connected via Bluetooth to my MacBook. You don't have to worry about them being hooked up to your monitor because everything is going through this MacBook. I know that that's the concept that is most confusing because that was a question I had myself. So actually I can pull up everything here. So now look, guess what? I have my dock that's on my MacBook over here and I have it over there too. So I can go move my mouse from there. Okay, so toggling, I can pull up one screen here. Look at that and it moves to the other one. I just think this is amazing. Okay, it's amazing, it's magic. Okay, look, so let's see. I'll give you an example of things that I do. So boom cards, let's get my boom cards up. All right, I have one for my Jimmy here. Let's see. Let's see, I have that open. Okay. I can, you know, get whatever I want. Let's see, I have another kid that wants to go to YouTube for his break. I can have my YouTube up. Okay, I can move them all over here. 
All right, can I have those two there? What about my Zoom call? Let's see. Zoom. I need to start a new meeting. There we go. So when I start a new meeting, it comes over here, but I can move it over here. It's awesome. Okay, and I'll just show you how you share. So you share, and look, everything on your screens is available to you. Look at that. One screen, two screen, you see? Three. But I wanna share that one activity. Share. <coughs> and it is shared, see? So there we go. Um, I think that about covers everything. Um, but if anybody has questions, feel free to ask. I am all about embracing this right here and just being comfy at home. Be happy and try your best. I know that during 2020, it's taught a lot of us about ourselves, about work. It put us into situations where we just didn't know we were gonna be in. Um, if you would have told me that I would have been a CF doing teletherapy <laughs> right out of school, wouldn't have believed you. But I'm doing it and I'm loving it. And this is something that is helping me embrace it. And I hope that you can embrace it too and just make your workspace comfy. That is my desk and everything. And I can um, send screenshots of the things that I purchased and just to share the rest of my workspace, I'm currently working on it, but I just assembled that cabinet. It's gonna have all my documents in there. Got that printer and then I got a little uh, cart for like pens and things that, so I can just declutter that workspace. So I wish you all luck in trying to navigate this. It's not hard. I am far from tech savvy. If I can figure it out, you sure can. Okay, good luck.